So you want to protect your home and your family, but choosing a home security system is a crazy process. There's tons of them out there, the plans are confusing, they come and drill a whole bunch of holes in your walls, and you're probably going to get stuck with a multi-year contract. So what if you don't want that? What if you want something that's smarter, that's easier and more convenient, and it works great with existing smart home products? Well, today I've partnered with Nest to show you the new Nest Secure. This could change the way that you view home security. The Nest Secure Alarm System Starter Pack comes with everything that you need to get started. For more information and current pricing, I will leave a link down below for you if you're interested. First, you get the Nest Secure itself, and what I appreciated about it is, is that it's really compact, and the design is so clean with the built-in speaker with a loud 85 decibel siren. There's even a backup battery in there. There's even a motion sensor built in behind the Nest logo. I love the way it looks. Nothing like any other security system I've ever seen before. It blends in perfectly with my home. You get a slim power adapter and a USB cord to power the Nest Secure. Also, you get some quick start guides and warranty information just in case you need help with the setup process. And it comes with two NFC Nest tags, which I will show you what they do later. It just simplifies this entire process and also comes with two Nest Detect sensors. These are not your normal sensors. You can use them in a few different ways. Of course, you can use it as a open and close sensor, so you can put them on your doors or windows, but you can also use it as a standalone motion sensor for your rooms that need it. You can just stick it on the wall, no drilling, no wires or screws are needed. Its battery is replaceable, it lasts up to two years, and since the Nest Detect is UL certified, it will let you know when the battery is getting low, if it's being tampered with, or if the sensor is not working properly. My personal favorite touch is that these sensors also work as path lights, so it's easy to see in the dark. So why would I want to use this instead of something else? I actually already have a security system that was built into my home, but I never use it. It gives me very limited control and it doesn't work with my existing smart home products. I like the Nest Secure because I feel like it gives me the most flexibility. I can put it anywhere I want to. I can add as many sensors as I want or use as little as I want to. Nothing is permanent on a wall. This is especially important if you live in an apartment complex or if you live in a rented home and you still want security, but your landlord might not let you install a traditional system and you might not want to be locked up into a year or two year contract and you're looking for an option that lets you monitor it yourself, this can give you that flexibility. And since this is not permanent and it's portable, if you move next year or if you rent another home, you can take your investment with you. Another reason why I would use this is because it's really easy to use. Setup is super easy. Everything is done through the Nest app. It stepped me through the entire process. I just scanned the code and followed the steps. It couldn't be easier. All of the settings are in the Nest app, so I can control the Nest Secure from anywhere right on my phone, or I can arm it directly through the Nest Secure base itself. I can either enter a passcode if I want with the simplified number pad, but my favorite way to interact with the Nest Secure is this. The Nest tag goes right on my keychain. I just tap once to arm the system, or I can just tap again to disarm the system. I don't get that same anxiety panic that I used to get on my other system. If I forget something in the house, I can just tag back in, get whatever I need to get, and then I can just tag back out. Or if I have strapped my kids into the car already, but then they have to use the bathroom, then I can do that too, bring them back in. It's no big deal. If I lose one of these Nest tags, it's no big deal because I can disable it right from the app. But one of the most powerful things is actually what restrictions you can put on the Nest tag. So let's say that if I need a dog walker to come to my house between 1 and 2 p.m., I can actually give them one of these, set this to only work between 1 and 2 p.m. So after that time period, this is no longer good. Having extra ones for people like babysitters, certain family members that might need access to your home in case of an emergency, you get the point. This is pretty genius. Also, if I leave and forget to arm my system, I can set it to where it sends me a notification that I can arm my Nest Secure right there on my phone, no matter where I am. Any motion that is detected or if there's a door that opens, I get notifications to my phone and I can also see the history of all these actions. 
And for people who have animals in the home, there's a setting in the app where your pets won't trigger the motion sensors. That's also awesome, but having control over each individual sensor brings to one of the best features that I've seen on any alarm system. It's called Quiet Open. So if I go to work early in the morning, I can just hit one of the sensors, bypass the alarm, walk out without waking up my family, and after the door closes, the sensor rearms itself. I also appreciate that if the Nest Secure loses power, it has up to a 12 hour battery backup. And obviously Wi-Fi will be down if the power is out. So there is a cellular backup option built in so I can activate that to make sure my home is being protected no matter what. The final reason that I'll keep using this is because out of the box, it already works well with my existing smart home products. I own a ton of LifeX bulbs mixed with some Philips Hue. And I think the best example of Nest integration here is that when I arm my Nest Secure and I'm on vacation, it can actually work with your smart lights to turn on and off random lights so it looks like the house is lived in. In my home, I already own Nest Outdoor and Indoor cams. So as soon as one of these motion detectors senses motion, it can trigger one of the cameras next to it to start recording video. And I can also set it to where if it detects motion, it can turn on one of my smart lights that are next to that motion detector. More items like the Chamberlain garage door opener and TP-Link switches are compatible with Nest and more are being added in the future. I can't wait to try the Nest Secure with the new Nest Hello doorbell, compatible smart door locks, and the new outdoor cameras. I already made an Ultimate Nest Smart Home video, so check that out if you haven't already, but let me know if you wanna see a new video that shows how all of these new and old products work together. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited about the Nest Hello doorbell with facial recognition. It's gonna be awesome. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Nest Secure for the next two months or so, and long-term is very important for a full review. So if you have any questions about the system, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll make sure that I cover that in my follow-up video. Also, let me know what you think about the Nest Secure. Is it game-changing? Is it something that you are finally looking for? A beautiful security system that doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, that doesn't have an annual contract? Let me know how you feel about it, Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.